Hi, my name is Matt Witzel. I'm a veterinarian at Western Montana Equine in Missoula, Montana. I'm starting this YouTube channel as a question and answer, ask a vet type of channel. Hopefully you will get involved as a viewer and ask questions in the comments and I'll do my best to try and answer some of those in video form. For my first topic, I'd like to talk a little bit about Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is otherwise known as pituitary pars intermedia dysfunction. It's a tumor in the brain, in the pituitary gland. And what it does is it increases the amount of naturally occurring cortisol that circulates through the bloodstream. Cortisol is a steroid and as such, it will reduce immune function and have some other effects on the horse's body. One of the more common things that we associate with Cushing's disease is a long hair coat or a horse that has delayed shedding or any other type of hair coat abnormality. Another common problem that we see is muscle wasting. So these horses will have a decreased musculature in their top line as well as a pot-bellied appearance when their abdominal muscles lose their strength and creates a pot-bellied appearance. A third problem that we associate with Cushing's in older horses is decreased weight gain. They'll be thinner than normal, a lot of times be ribby. Uh, they also have a much harder time during the winter time just because they can't keep their weight on and therefore can't stay warm in the winter time, which is definitely a problem in Montana. The last thing that we see in relatively advanced Cushionoid cases is poor immune function and this can manifest as decreased immune response to infections. These are cases that you try to treat with antibiotics and they have a very poor response to them. Cushing's can affect horses a lot of different ways so anytime you notice a problem in your horse especially if it's over 15 years old it would be a great idea to ask your vet to check them for Cushing's. The test for Cushing's is a relatively simple blood test that your vet will send out to an outside laboratory. The test will look at the horse's ACTH levels and will give you a indication for how progressed the disease might be. Another test that we may run is called a TRH stimulation test. This is where a blood sample is taken directly before administration of a TRH or thyrotropin releasing hormone. Then a second sample is drawn a little bit later to see what the body's response to that is. In this case, you're looking for a horse that has a normal baseline ACTH, but has an abnormal response to the TRH. And that's how you can catch horses that test normal initially, but actually do have Cushing's disease. Horses that are positive with either of these two tests should be treated with Percent or Pergolide. It comes in a tablet form. It's relatively simple to administer. The horse just needs to eat it. Most of the time you can feed it in grain or in your hand even with a treat. The horses typically take one to two months to start showing a response, but you're just gonna be looking for whatever particular clinical signs your horse has should be resolving slightly. If that's the hair coat, then they should start shedding out a little bit better. If it's muscle wasting, they should be developing some muscle mass like they used to, etc. Keep in mind that Cushing's is a progressive problem. The disease does tend to worsen over time, so if you have a decent response to your initial one tablet a day, but then you start seeing those clinical signs return, or you're not getting adequate response to the treatment, it'd be a good idea to recheck your horse's blood levels. Many times I recommend to my clients that we retest every six months to two years, just depending on how fast we suspect the horse is progressing. So there you go, there's the basics of Cushing's disease in horses. Just a quick review, it can affect the horse in multiple ways. It's typically seen in horses 15 years of age or older. It's easily tested and managed with medication. So if you have any questions on whether your horse has developed Cushing's disease, please give your vet a call, have it tested for. And with that, I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. And please like and subscribe if this is of any interest to you. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about Cushing's disease or other horse-related veterinary questions. Uh, I'd love
love to hear from you guys on your thoughts. Have a great day. If your horse test positive, if your horse test positive,